mean, I've been selling candy for as long as I can remember. In 1995, I created a concept and pitched it to the world famous F.A.O. Schwarz toy store, and I called it F.A.O. Sweets. I then partnered with Ralph Lauren's daughter, Dylan Lauren, on a concept called Dylan's Candy Bar, which we opened in on the Upper East Side in Manhattan. I think for me, though, the, there was a growing urge to you know, own a very large scale candy retail chain, so we kind of created this very cool, cheeky, irreverent, but yet optimistic brand called It Sugar and marketed it toward a demographic that really wasn't being marketed to, and that was the 19 year old you know, age group. We built the company uh, really starting in 2008. You know, we entered this year with almost 30 stores and we'll finish this year with over 60. I think if you look at what makes its sugar uh, different, I, I would kind of, you kind of say there's two things. You know, one is product, you know, in our merchandising content, and the other is the ambiance that we create. And they both feed each other, no pun intended. But I'd like to say, we're not a retail store. We're a retail experience. What we try to do is, if we're going to carry traditional product, then, by golly, let's carry the world's longest Twizzler. Let's carry one pound Reese's peanut butter cups. I mean, Willy Wonka would never just sell a gobstopper. It had to be the everlasting gobstopper. And I think he's definitely my hero, my idol. I try to look at candy just like he did and kind of create for that. Thank you.